Hi there, this is Chris from MoneyHub and this video explains Avanti Finance. We've written a comprehensive review of what Avanti Finance is, its pros and cons, everything like that, which I thoroughly suggest having a read through. Uh, what I'm going to do is just explain the best pieces of it so you have a uh, general understanding and then you can go and do your own research. So first of all, it's really critical to note that, that Avanti Finance is not a bank, it's a non-bank lender. So th this means that it's not uh, constrained like banks are when it comes to lending. It can be a little bit more flexible with who it lends to and what kind of applications it receives. So this is why you may see the interest rates being uh, higher than a mainstream bank, but at the same time they do uh, focus on uh, giving loans to a wider range of people. So what we've done here is we've looked at the pros and cons. I'm just going to quickly run through that. So as I've just said, you know, they're not, you know, they're not a bank. So they take in uh, like a range of people. Some people may be self-employed. Some people may be new to New Zealand. Some people may be low income. And uh, you know, what they're offering is largely personal loans. They do do uh, some home loans, but the personal loans seems to be their main uh, focus. And uh, what we've also seen is that, you know, they provide regular statements. It's not so much a digital lender that you can log in and see what your balance is. It is a traditional setup in that regard, uh, but they do charge fees as well, which we list below. So as I said, they do personal loans, mortgages, and they also do insurance policies. What I'm gonna do is just summarize uh, this here. So uh, personal loan space, they uh, uh, typically take loans for around $1,000 to $50,000 for a maximum of five years. You can choose to have them secured or unsecured. This means that secured loans typically take a lower interest and unsecured uh, loans charge higher interest. Here we've just outlined their fees, which is, which is very useful to know. What I strongly suggest you do is you click on their fee PDF so you can get an understanding of exactly what the fees will be. They update this uh, periodically. This one's from December 20. Uh, 2020 so it's really worthwhile just going through that to make sure you understand exactly uh, what's being uh, charged. We've summarized some of these here from what's being charged just so that you know and uh, what, yeah, what we do like is the fact that um, they do offer uh, pre-approval for car loans so you can go looking for a car which falls under the personal loan space but at the same time, there is sort of like this ongoing monthly charges to look after the loans. Plus there's also a few set up loans as well. So some lenders will charge them, some lenders don't. So when you're comparing uh, rates from Avanti Finance or a total loan cost from, uh, from Avanti Finance, do make sure like that includes the fees and that everyone else you compare with also includes the fees because some of these fees can add up, you know, and then they, uh, and they can be added to the loan, which makes the loan more expensive. So make sure you're comparing loans with loans alike, uh, including all the repayment and all the fees added in. Now Avanti also does mortgages and home loans. Uh, this is something which they specialize in and uh, the variable rates will always change, um, but they are sort of helping people in the space of uh, short-term financing in some cases, sort of bridging finance as well as a few other things. Uh, so yeah, if this is you, then um, yeah, it's worth contacting Avanti to find out what their rates are, you know, what they can do. But of course, this isn't going to be a lending, like to replace a bank lending in most cases. Like if you're looking for a two year, five year fixed loan deal, uh, or a, even a floating, a floating rate, then Avanti Finance probably isn't for you. They do work with uh, special, special credit situations. We can see that they have a few fees, uh, which is worth uh, noticing. So uh, please, We've linked to, uh, to them here, but do uh, check out the Avanti website uh, like if these are going to apply to you. Now, what Avanti Finance also does is they sell insurance for their loan products. Usually these two things here, gap insurance and mechanical breakdown. So we've got comprehensive money hub guides to these. These are around uh, car finance. So if your car breaks down, then there's some insurance around that to fix it. You know, and also gap insurance if you have an accident and you owe more to Avanti Finance or your lender, then you know the car's actually worth and gets paid out from insurance, then uh, that gap is covered by the insurance. Uh, payment protection insurance is looking at, well, if something happens to you and you can't make the repayments, 
uh, we've now published a guide to that which we'll be linking in here uh, so that's also worth uh, knowing about we're actually quite um, we're not that positive about these insurance policies, to be honest, not uh, specifically the Avanti ones, just in general. There's been a lot of uh, government sort of regulation talks about them and also Australian studies as to how much they actually pay out and what they're worth. So it is worth uh, just properly considering those in detail if you are looking to get them because uh, we hear mixed reports of their success. But this isn't specific to Avanti Finance, this is just in general. So uh, yeah, make sure you always read the policies and you know, do get comparisons, even if uh, we can't get online quotes for any of these, uh, not just Avanti, but, you know, anyone, because it is sort of sold on a custom, like, per loan basis. Uh, so that's, yeah, th that is worth noting. Now, with regards to, uh, like, the Avanti Finance background, they've been running, you know, since 1989, and, uh, you know, they are very responsive to uh, reviews and also um, client interaction or client engagement. Uh, so be, uh, yeah, so do have a read of those if you are interested in going ahead with Avanti Finance. Generally, uh, you know, they've been doing, as I said, they've been doing uh, loans for, you know, 30 plus years. They are in the business and quite a large lender, um, but, you know, they may not be right for you. So you just always have to compare. So this is, this is pretty much the summary of Avanti Finance, what they do, who they are targeting, or not targeting, but who they work with. Uh, it's not going to be like a mainstream bank competitor. It's more in the higher sort of risk lending uh, like area with higher interest rates. But at the same time, they do work with uh, thousands of uh, thousands of New Zealanders all over the country. So thanks very much for watching. Hopefully, this un sort of explains what Avanti Finance is, what they do, the pros and cons. And certainly, if you are going to make any uh, loan application, do compare the market widely, because there are like, many, uh, like, there's many, there's many alternatives uh, to Avanti Finance. Thanks very much for watching.